Flip knife people back again with more of these knives. Start you off here with a quick look at the recently acquired Yojimbo blacked out edition. Yep, even the compression lock. Uh, so quick shout out to Dave. Thanks for making it happen. But let's do what we do here and get some knife content going. Um, like I said before, I got some stuff from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Kind of pick up where we left off. And it's all for the uh, 500 sub um, giveaway package that I'm going to do. Uh, so, again, thanks to all the new subs. And, you know, thanks for dropping in. And hopefully you guys stick around and uh, get that giveaway going. So, here we go. I hope I didn't cut nothing. Oh, crap. Maybe. Anyways. Put that down. So, a little bit of paperwork. First time ordering from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. <laughs> yep, get your silver dollars. Um, what else we got? Ooh, nice. Oh man, I'm gonna have to bust out the G.I. Joe's. Sweet, G.I. Joe sticker. Check that out. That's sweet, I like that. And then, there you go. Smoky Mountain. So, my first order again from them. Oh, my man, Jersey. Ah, what's that? Big shout out to him too. Got a Victoria Knox. Another Victoria Knox. And yeah, bam, how about that? Double up. What else is in here? And some oil. Sweet. I'll put that down. So, let's see what's in here. Uh, to start off first with this here. Or actually, let me do these first. So, uh, yeah, Jersey. My man, Jersey Knife Guy. I've been telling him I was gonna get some Rough Riders. This is the Rough Rider Zombie Nick uh, Canoe. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool. Figured I'd introduce myself to the, um, the uh, Slip Joint family. I'm gonna put these in here. Let's take a look at it. These shiny bolsters. It's a canoe. So there we go. Got a nice little blade there. Another double one. What does it say? Friends don't let friends eat friends. <laughs> Funny. And you got a nice little. So these are going to go. I'm going to throw one in there. I'm going to keep one. Pretty cool. Nice little zombie green. Pretty sweet. Ah. <laughs> so a little dirty, but I'll clean it up a little bit for you guys. So yeah, we're gonna put one of these guys in here somewhere. And I got, uh, of course, one for me. So we'll check those out probably at a later date. We'll get into that more. And what else? Uh, I got a Swiss Army 7. Never saw this one. Uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and try it. It's an A-Lock Silver. Not a special edition of any sort. That one comes with the big pen blade. 
comes with the usual Pioneer stuff. Only thing different, this one has a little bit of a second hook knife, which I thought was pretty cool. You got an awl. And then last, you have this serrated blade. So that's really cool. You get all three, plus the bottle opener. Thought that was really cool. Look at that there. And then I got, so that one I'm gonna throw in, this one I'm gonna throw in there. Uh, the canoe as well, one's gonna go in there. This one I got for myself. I've always been curious about this one, they call it the, well, that's the number there, one hand, US Army. Um, so multi-purpose knife. This one comes with a nice, kind of like parkerized saw blade. You can't really see it, kind of dark. USA. Lighting. Pretty cool blade. This one has, this will be a lot easier to show. You got a bottle opener. And these all lock too, actually. It's crazy. Okay. Then you got a, well, that's the bottle opener there. And then also, that comes with the larger saw blade. That's pretty cool too. I was originally gonna throw it in there, but um, you know, I got the small one. I figured the small one would go better with all the other knives. So this is kind of redundant to put this and that in there. So, um, or even then if, you know, whoever wins it, if you wanna switch it around a little bit, let me know. I can probably put this, take one out, something like that, vice versa. Or take the canoe and that one out. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get there. But that was my plan to add all these in there somehow. Uh, so this, these all go back. It's pretty cool. Just figured this would be a good work knife. Again, this has like some kind of liner lock here. So that releases that. There you go. And then there's a liner lock on this one as well, right there. It has a good snap, too. Check that out. Yeah. It's a really good engagement. Um, really cool. Let's give it a little weight, actually, see what the weight is on this guy. I got the scale out. That little tool, 4.6, which isn't bad at all. Isn't bad at all. Actually, I'm gonna leave that out. 4.6 ounces. Nice serrated blade. Victoria Knox. And there's the. There you go. Really cool, I'm liking this one. I forgot it also has a, a screwdriver on the back. Sweet. Not bad. And you got a hook here. Oh, wait up. You got something else. Oh, you get that out. Something else hiding here. Oh, here we go. It's got like a punch. And that goes in the back there. Sweet. Really nice tool. Really liking this. Especially for me that I work in the outdoors, dirt. This will probably come in handy pretty well. Nice. Okay. Let's see what this weighs. Uh, 
three ounces. So not bad at all. There we go. So yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, you know, let's do some comparisons real quick. So you guys have some sizes. I'll put this down. Mm. I'll leave that there. You guys know the Pioneer size. I'll show you some of the goodies I got here on the side. This is an MKM Izonzo. And again, I do this stuff more just to show you guys comparisons of knives. The uh, Ferrum Forge Mini, Bitch, uh, Mini Archbishop in G10. Apocalyptic finish. Put that down here. Try to sense the theme with the colors I like. So there you're looking at it. Under eight inch knife. close-up of the blade and a little not serrated all the way so there you go three inches and about a five inch handle pretty sweet I'm liking it I'll also show you guys the elementum my carta using this a lot and another frequent flyer, the uh, Quiet Carry. It's more of my Gene Carry. But all really good EDCs. So I like the coated blades. Of course, pretty expensive knife here, but a little variation there. Some new stuff, some old stuff. Sweet. So yeah, really digging it. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting knife. So uh, definitely useful. So again, uh, this is some of the stuff I was gonna put in the bag, the canoe, the Army Seven, and vice versa. If you guys really like that, I can always probably get another one. So let me know what you guys like. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, LT Wright Patriot back here, uh, fixed blade. I'll be getting into that stuff too soon. I've neg neglected the fixed blades for a little while, but uh, for the most part, this is another pouch I got that I did for myself. Put some stuff in there. It actually came in handy the other day when I had to take off. Uh, left it in the wife's car so it's a good little uh, good little thing to have when you got pouches like that with a lot of stuff in there so again thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in um you know uh check back for more get me the 500 subs so i can get that pack that giveaway going and uh you know stick around for more knife content more gear and y'all know how we do it Check around for more. Catch you on the flip side. Have a go. Bam. Tell me what you think of those, Pete.